So let's do the move task. Create move task. Add namespace. And uh, let's copy a few things, for example, from the task, the task, and we kind of need all of these too. Uh, actually, we don't need this. Uh, let's go with the build task, since that's the empty one. Okay. Now we have the move task. We need the unit. We can get the unit from the above task. On start, we don't necessarily need anything, but let's go into the unit. We kind of need these things. We already have the path. We have the path index. A path. We have the init lerp. Actually, let's just do the tick over here since the unit knows what actually is moving. But what I'm going to change is I'm going to pass the delta inside the tick instead of here okay so okay on the move task then we need the base but if unit or actually let's just say unit dot tick Let's just pass for now the delta time over here, or we can just pass it on the task itself. Float delta. And on the task manager, then just call it once. Tick. Okay, then build task needs delta. Same for pathfinder task, although we don't necessarily need it. And then on the move task, we're going to have our delta. Okay, base tick and then tick. Awesome. So, okay, we have all of this. And on our move task, we are moving our unit. If our unit now does not have any path anymore, it means okay we are finished with this task end it on finish again we'll just go on to the base and unregister this task finish that and uh, however we do need to know if we actually have a job to do or another task so we can go on this unit and say public task task target task and we can populate this with the rest and okay all task 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 okay awesome so let's test this and to test this of course we're going to go on our player interactions and we're going to go on to let's remove all of this we just want we don't need this anymore we can delete it but let's keep it for now we can say void uh, okay let's just say test because I don't really care to name it appropriately 
test and if input mouse button get mouse button down zero if unit doesn't have a path so has path equals false and let's find where we are clicking so on the destroy block for the destroy block oops the same logic we have for this for the destroy block okay we're just going to say uh, we need the current block if current block is not null Huh, okay, so has path. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of if unit is null, I'm just going to say return just for the test. So if current block is null, then we're going to create a new task, a new path task. So pathfinder, uh, not pathfinder, tasks dot pathfinder task task or path task a new pathfinder task path task dot let's see we need to be passing the unit inside and the next task maybe for the next next task since this is the pathfinder task we don't need to pass the next task we already know what the next task is which that will be a new move task yeah that will be a new move task okay since you have the path you kind of want to move on it so back to our layer directions new path task for the unit and uh, the unit itself i'm just going to say null for now because i don't really want to do anything so this will create a new path we need to register it, so task manager singleton register task path task this will call the reference to the pathfinder master when the pathfinder master returns let's do a debug log for loading the unit for when we load this so let's say debug.log path load it okay so when that is called we're going to be inside over here then we're going to have a path okay so we're going to call the pathfinder and then the pathfinder will assign the move task and when the move task is finished then that basically means our unit will have been uh, uh, on the correct position okay minimize that we need to assign a few references onto our world so let's assign this over here and then on the world generator let's create a new empty game object inside our world let's call this task manager okay and let's assign this as task manager we don't need to do anything over here and let's make sure we also have the pathfinder okay since these are here we could take this and add it on the task manager will be a little bit better so remove this uh, let's copy this and add this as well over here so we have everything on the same uh, object awesome Awesome, save, clear this, or unload the scene, and hit play, load, okay, so now when I click on a position, yeah, nothing will happen, because, let's see, do we have it, yeah, we have our test, unit equals null, it must button down, has path equals false. 
Got a block. Let's see though. Task manager. Slow the scene. We have our unit. Can assign the pathfinder manager over here. Okay. We have our unit. The unit actually got nullified. Which means our unit actually exists. We have find our unit. This works. This will register the task. Over here. So to register. Active tasks. Let's do a debug log in here. Debug log. Added task. And let's do a log over here. Task tick. Let's hit play. Got this. Okay. Task tick uh, actually runs. So this actually runs, but we never get the call back. Let's see why. Well, definition. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. So on Pathfinder task. On start. Oh yeah, we never call the on start. So on start. We can run the on start when we register the task. Register t dot on start. Can run it here. Awesome. Let's remove the. We can keep this. Skip the other ones. Okay. Let's unload. Let's unload this scene. Uh, let's click now. Okay, so we have a stack overflow. Let's see where. For whatever reason, we have a stack overflow on the register task. So, if to register contains Or well, doesn't contain the task. And then add this over there. Uh, let's say if not to unregister contains the task, add this as well over there. see we add the task it can move hmm task manager we yeah okay so let's see uh, pathfinder task from oh yeah, of course it can move since we never assigned this to. Damn it. So, uh, player interactions. On the request path, we're basically going to take this world and current block. Okay. So, path task. Let's go over here. Let's find our block. So, block target. Or actually we already have both of them so that will be path task dot from that will be unit dot current block block 
let's see why do we not have this damn it so let's say public block current block on the unit current block path task dot to unit dot not unit just current block from this script and we now need to assign the unit block and we do that on world when we first place the unit let's find it and somewhere over here uh, that's the noise we have our world and visualize chunk over here which means player interactions dot single down dot unit dot current block equals b now whenever we are actually moving our unit which is in here and whenever we are changing okay something on our path we're also going to be changing our current block to be from be the new block and because we have the entire path we could just say path path index but before we increment the path index okay otherwise we're going to get an error if we are on the final block okay save minimize and let's try it again i think now we should be should be working uh, maybe not okay let's see why so uh, player interactions path task from path task to register when you register you're going to do the on start and Oh, that's why we were having yeah that's why we were having a stack overflow because we were also doing this on start so let's delete this and then on the path on the pathfinder task on start you're going to request pathfinder okay let's assume this is working although I don't believe it actually does to do jobs okay this will add it back on the to do mm. yeah it might be this that is the problem but it might be not okay let's assume this is working on finish let's do the bug.log on finish let's see the base we just do an unregister okay and yeah okay register task target task for the move task we only need yeah we need the unit as well so target task dot unit equals unit although we never go in here otherwise if we were taking the move task we were going to have an error because we didn't assign the unit so i think the problem is with the pathfinder let's do a debug log for the pathfinder path callback then on a new pathfinder job on the to do on the find path find path and over here we're going to say bug log path complete okay let's open up our world though world generator see our tasks okay okay let's click play Uh, we should have closed that, but anyway. 
Yeah, actually, let's close it first and then check. What do we do? Load and click add the task find path we are till here so find path actually is the problem and I'm going to guess that it has to do with the yeah maybe it has to do with this path target get neighbor search position Target not equals null. Yeah, maybe not. Let's see. Else the bug empty path empty node. Not and pass that's weird. Yeah, for whatever reason, we're not in, we're not coming in here, we're not executing our jobs path callback, path callback so yeah the pathfinder uh, is actually the problem I have no idea why that is get block from wall position yeah maybe it's from this because we don't do Get block from wall position, wall position. Okay. Mm. Get block, get sunk circular. Mm, circular around. Uh, yeah, I think I know why. Because for with this. Yeah, we actually changed the logic. Now it. So, forget chunk. This doesn't work because we have changed the, the logic onto our world to get chunk from dictionary. Which means, let's go over here. Mm, we need to be passing the chunk dictionary now. Okay. Awesome. So, let's fix this. Uh, actually, let's fix this on the next part because it has to do with the pathfinder and not what we do on our move tasks. So, we'll fix it on the next one.